This is my science project, and I'm doing it about optical illusions. Well, this is a picture of the eye, and I'll, sh I'll show you how it works. The um, the when the light reflects from the object, so for instance, this board, it it travels through the center of the eye and gets interprinted from the brain. Light enters the eye through the cornea, right here. The clear cup, which is very clear. The iris, or the colored portion of the eye right here, is a, mus is a muscle located behind the cornea. And it controls the amount of light entering the eye. The lens inside the eyes, right here, fine tunes the focus of the image by changing shape depending on whether the object is close up or far away. So like, if it's close up, it might get larger or shorter, and vice versa. After passing through the lens, light rays are focused through the retina, which are these blood vessels. So this is a retina. It consists of light-sensitive nerve tissues called cones and rods. The rods function in dim light, while the cones function best in daylight, and also perceive color. The rods and cones transform the brain images into electrical impulses, which are sent to the brain by the optic nerve right here. When the brain interprets the image, which occurs? Which one do you think is a circle and which one do you think is a spiral? There may be two of the same answer. Both of them are circles, we, um, but they're you think it's spiral, but your eyes are playing tricks with you. The tricks are called illusions. So the center is supposed to be right here. So the center is dislocated, and the black lines are shorter and longer. What well, makes it um, a bit off, and it looks very crooked. crooked. I think it is crooked. Um, this one is a circle. They have circles. And the reason why it you know, you're, you see the illusion is because the pattern seems like it's sucking in. And usually when it sucks in, it's a spiral. But if you trace a pencil around it or a compass, it will be a circle, every single little one. Um, one of the artists that made optical illusions uh, is Mr. Etcher. He was born on July 17, 1898. He's famous for his 3D structures, like the and all of them here are look very 3D. His impossible structures, let's see, this one is an impossible structure because you can't really walk up and still be on the same floor. This one is an impossible structure because of, you see the water is actually going up and then falling again. And the windmill, the windmill does not have that much power. This one's an impossible structure because the boy is looking at a picture and the picture blends out into the background. He's also famous for his realistic landscapes. He made 448 lithographs, woodcuts, and wood engravings, and over 2,000 sketches or draws. 
He is left handed, just like me. He died on March 27, 1972. These are some moving illusions. If you look, stare at the white dot and move your head back and forth, you you can see that the it moves to the left and then the right. They both move in the opposite direction. And this this illusion is called the peanut illusion. It happens because when the picture is moved back and forth, the image moves across the retina and rotary movements are perceived. This angle should be 56.25 degrees. So it means that if you draw a line here, the the it right here, only this this should be 56.25 degrees. What do you see in this illusion? Why do you think you see the moving circles? The circles are moving because your eyes follow the circular pattern. These are more moving illusions. And which one do you think is larger? And why do you think in this one? People might say this might be larger, but in truth, both of them are just the same. It's larger because this one looks like it's close up and like small because it, this these in decrease in size. So you think that on the scale, if this thing decreases, then this one would increase, but no. They are both the same. On this one, which one do you think is larger? You probably would say this one, but all of them are still the same. They're the same because the pillars might be um, shortened, the ceiling might slope down. This one, they might be on a slope, and on that. These are the lines of illusion. Which line do you think is larger? You probably say this illusion, but they all have the same line. The left one is <coughs> distorted because the, pop, the top and bottom lines curve inward. Are these lines straight? Most people say no, but they are parallel because the white, the black and white lines, the black and white squares are all mixed up. Like this one going this way, and this way, and this way, and that way again. And then the last but not least, counting dots. Count these black dots. How many can you count? Ten. There are no black dots. Why do, you, why do we see them? We see black dots because our eyes have memory from looking at the black squares. This is a peanut illusion with skew. Which one do you think, which one can you not see the, the peanut illusion showing above? And why? 25 degree skew. The skew means if you had a piece of paper, you would turn it on its side. Um, like twirl it on the point, and then 25 degrees. This happens because the angle decreases from 56.25 to 31.25 degrees, which is not enough. These are my references that made that helped me do this project, and this is my project. Question, guys.